What's up, folks? There it is, the Gorilla Carts. This is the 1,100 pound capacity model. I believe it may be 1,000, it may be 1,200. I need to look that up, but it's the big one. It's the heavy, heavy duty model. Did a review on this thing uh, back in September, I think it was, or maybe August. I'd have to look, but it was 2016. I remember that. 2016. Uh, bought this thing and used it to move some stuff around. I needed a wheelbarrow, a wheelbarrow, whatever you want to call it. I needed a cart, a yard cart, a long cart. And uh, I was thinking about a wheelbarrow, and uh, we call them wheelbarrows in Alabama. Um, and I thought, you know, this thing, I could hook it up behind the lawnmower or the four-wheeler. Uh, this, I don't know if I showed that in the other video, but you can pull this pin. And that pivots right around like that, and then you shove the pin back in there like that. Put your keeper in and uh you know the magical one-handed youtubing but um oh no now i've done it i've gone extracurricular here but anyway let's see if i can get that back in nope struggling all right so you can hook it up behind your four-wheeler i have to try and edit that out you can hook it up behind your four-wheeler the lawnmower you can pull it around um but the point of this was just kind of a follow-up because everybody they'll unbox something they'll be like yeah man this thing is great and then like you don't know if it's great you just pulled it out of the box maybe a piece of garbage tell me how good it is in a year tell me how good it is in two years tell me how good it is after it's lived outside for four years well here we are four years and i've already mentioned i think i mentioned it's freezing cold out here you can see this thing was full of ice and uh, what really prompted me to make this video was this it's freezing cold out here. This is a plastic cart and it's not brittle. Um, I started on this thing with a shovel and I was like, oh man, I'm gonna crack that plastic. No, it's not gonna crack. It's, uh, I think I said, I don't know if I've said, it's in the 20s, 26, 28 um, degrees today and we were out cleaning up around the pond because what better day than in the, now the kids want to play on the ice. But anyway, just to follow up, I've used this to haul mulch you can get like 12 bags you can go three this way and then three then three again and then two and then one i think my alabama math makes that 12. i've hauled mulch field stone bricks um a couple dead animals and for i mean you know it's a wheelbarrow you use it for whatever you need to use it for um the kids use it all the time as a downhill racer they love it they haven't been to the hospital yet we were uh 10 for 10 on no stitches there so um, but like I said, it sat outside its entire life. I think I said that. And if I haven't said that, this thing sits out behind the shop, uh, 24 seven for the better. Oh, it hadn't been inside. I know in over a year, um, hot, cold sun. It just, you know, it fills up in the summertime and it's a great jacuzzi for the mosquitoes. Try and keep it dumped out, but the kids like to leave it in their clubhouse. The kids use it all the time, but it's been great. I've mixed concrete in it. You can see the the remnants there but this thing has been absolutely amazing as amazing as a wheelbarrow can get it still dumps um everything works just fine so i guess really all i did all i really wanted to say here was if you're thinking about buying a gorilla cart and you've held off well don't hold off anymore i mean just go get one you only live once and everybody needs the thrill of a gorilla cart, right? So there it is. Go buy yourself one.